I'm back with another trail camera review, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Foxelli trail camera. It's a 14 megapixel uh, still images and 1080p videos. The folks over at Foxelli has sent me this trail camera to do a review, but they are in no way paying me to do this, nor are they gonna be previewing my review before you see it. So you'll get to see it the same time they will as I post it on YouTube. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing here, show you a couple of the features, and then I'm gonna be putting it out in the woods and testing it and showing you sample footage, uh, both pictures and video. So let's get right to it. So we're gonna open up the box here and see what we get. It has nice packaging inside it here. We have the actual trail camera. Looks like a free flashlight. It's pretty neat. We have a custom wall mount, tree strap, owner's manual, USB cable, and the base for the mount. The camera has protective coatings here on all of the lenses and some of them are kind of hard to get off but make sure you get them off so it doesn't give distorted pictures. The camera runs on eight AA batteries, has a compartment inside here and I'm going to be running lithium ion batteries. Uh, it also takes micro SD uh, storage. It does not take a standard SD card. You have to use a micro SD on this camera. To power the camera on, you have a on off setup we will put it in the setup mode and it powers up. The Fox Ellie cam, uh, this is a new and improved over previous versions and some of that improvement is in the 42 IR bulbs. Uh, it's supposed to be an upgraded so we'll definitely be testing that out at nighttime to see the pictures and video quality. It has a built-in LCD screen where you can access the menu and also have a live preview of your camera. It has a lot of settings as far as PIR sensitivity. It has a time-lapse mode. Video length can be set up to 10 minutes long. Uh, so I find it has a lot of options. As a first glance, the latches do seem a little cheaper compared to even some of the other trail cameras I have reviewed, uh, but hopefully they'll hold up and that will not be an issue. It does have a six volt external port and a quarter 20 accessory screw in here for the bottom uh, that you can put it on a tripod or the supplied mount. Some other observations for just seeing this for the first time is I like the camo pattern. Uh, I think it'll blend in well with most environments. The tree strap mounts here in the back of the camera look like they could be a potential weak point, especially in cold, brittle weather, um, but that's yet to be determined. So overall, looks like a great camera. We're gonna put it out now and put it to the test. Well, I made it out here to my property and I have my Foxelli with me with the tree strap. I have a small stream running down here and I'm just following it down to a opening and I'm planning on placing the camera there. We should be able to get some animals coming through there and get some good, good footage and see what the camera does. So this is the tree that should work for me. Uh, it's overlooking this little opening and have a creek crossing here. I'm gonna mount to the tree with the tree strap. While I'm here, I just wanted to give you a, a one little pet peeve of mine, and I don't know if the manufacturers are listening or if they care, uh, but there's basically two styles of cameras that you can make. One that when you swing it open, you have the batteries over on this side, but look where the lens is when you swing it open. It makes it very difficult to set it up on the tree and get the right field of view that you want. The other style is that your lid just swings open, your lens remain stationary on this side and then you would have a battery tray or something uh, that would come out to put your batteries in. That style makes it very easily. You can put it on the tree and you get to see exactly on your LCD screen what the camera is looking at. This style you can't. Your best bet is to try and turn it on and to uh, kind of point it, try and look behind it the tree but every little movement whether it's a half an inch or not really changes your field of view and ultimately you almost have to just test it pull the card out put it into a device your laptop or whatever see if you have it pointed right and then keep adjusting back and forth that way it is not very handy uh, ultimately it's not a deal breaker if the camera performs well you know you can overlook things like that 
but it is not my ideal setup for having the lens swing open with the lid. I have the Fox Ellie strapped to the tree. Uh, it's overlooking this little creek crossing. There's some tracks in the mud actually here right in front of me, so I'm pretty sure we should get some action. We'll see how this thing performs. Well, I ended up having a ton of action at that spot and the Foxelli did its job and I got lots of videos that I just showed you a sample of. I also took the supplied mount and I often will use that to mount it high in the tree, angle it down. But in this case, I actually used this and mounted it low to the ground and pointed the camera up just to get a little different perspective. I then set the camera on photo and video mode so that I would have sample photos to show you. I'm going to show you those photos and videos now. Well, that brings me to my final thoughts on this Foxelli trail camera. After seeing the sample photos and videos, it is very hard to be displeased with this camera. I absolutely love it. The photo quality and video quality especially is great. The frame rate of this Foxelli, it actually shoots the video in 25 frames per second. That's something to look out for because some of the manufacturers dumb that down to about 15 frames per second and you got a lot of choppy looking video. 25 frames per second is pretty good for trail cameras and I think that makes a difference in this situation. 
Also, the night IR bulbs do a great job. Sometimes you get a spotlight effect where just the center of the field of view is lit up, but the edges get really dark. If you look back through that footage, it is great illumination. I am very happy with that. The detection range is something else I wanted to touch on with this camera. In the sample footage, that one video of there was a possum, and it was actually on the other side of the creek. That is over 90 feet away from this camera. The camera triggered, and you could actually see that and illuminated at night over 90 feet away, and I was very impressed with that. If there was anything negative I had to pick apart about the camera, it would probably be its audio. Many manufacturers struggle with getting good audio, and that comes from having a waterproof housing and then trying to get a microphone to pick up ambient noises around it. Fox Ellie is probably about middle of the road as far as I'm concerned. There's some that do it a lot better than Fox Ellie, uh, but there are those that are a lot worse than this too. So I would say they're about right in the middle of the road as far as having good audio quality with their video. Well, to wrap this all up and to give my final thoughts, I absolutely love this Foxelli camera. I think you could take this camera and put it up against cameras twice its value, and the Foxelli would probably still come out on top. Its picture and video quality are great. The battery life has also been great with it. I've taken close to 2,000 pictures and videos with this, and I'm still on the original set of batteries, and it's still showing full battery life. I was pleasantly surprised with its price point and its performance. I think you would be very happy with this. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you in the next video.